Got a couple chainsaw art sculptures. This looks like a a beaver. And they got an eagle. The zoo has some signage in the front. Let people know what they are doing for social distancing. And some attractions might be closed. Alright, so the Patatomi Zoo opens at 10. It's about 5 till and we'll be going in. I just got inside. First things first, gonna go and get my hat. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I'm in South Bend, Indiana and I'm visiting the, the Potawatomi Zoo today. This is a mid-sized zoo. Looking forward to being here. This is my first time. I had several requests to come to this zoo. So I am here. Going to check the place out. All rides are open, including the train ride. Carousel is open. You see I just got my hat. If you are familiar with my channel, I always purchase a hat anywhere I go. Helps support the establishment that I'm at. Gives me a cheap souvenir. This was $20. So not that bad as a cheap souvenir. And helps protect my head from the heat and the sun. So I'm going to see if I can find a stationary map to show you. Otherwise I have a paper map that was given to me right at the front. So we're going to get situated and decide which way we're going to go. All right past the entry point we got the carousel. All right so from the entry path I see one of the kitties. Get a closer look as I get around. All right so until I'm able to find a stationary map I'm going to show you the paper map. This is right where I'm at right now. So I'm going to go to the right first, which is going to include Asia, the zoo farm in Africa. And I'm going to work my way around. Train ride goes around this area here. See the carousel running. So that's the main entry building with the gift shop where I got my hat. And you can see the carousel. There are restroom locations. All right, so right along the back side of the carousel, there's a path that I'm going to first. This is directly next to the petting zoo, which we'll do right after. All right, looks like we're gonna see the Amur Tiger. Okay, Amur Tiger. So the tiger does have access to both sides of the habitat. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, I just saw him. Just saw the tiger. There we go. Yes. Well, I came around. And there we go. There's the Amur tiger. It's the largest of the tiger species. At least the ones that are still alive, anyway. As opposed to the extinct species, I meant. I'm glad he came up to me. Well didn't come up to me, I came up to him basically. She's probably going to go around to the other side again. But this is the rest of his other side of the habitat. Now he just poked his head out. Decided to go back in. Now we got Sichuan talking. So the Potawatomi Zoo deals with a lot of conservation efforts for different animal species. Let's say threatened species because of overhunting and habitat loss. Go. See the cool looking critters. Oh, we got southern white rhino. Try not to get the behind the scene view of them, if you know what I mean. That's a little more appropriate view. He was eating some grass. Alright, got some akapi. 
Doesn't appear the copy is out right now. There is a worker and they're getting the area ready for him to come out. So I'll check back a little bit later. So we're going to be heading to the right. Alright, first stop is the petting zoo. You see some pygmy goat and alpaca. Lots of alpaca. Now these guys are related to llamas. This is just a smaller of the two. You see one of the goaties over here with it. You also have some La Mancha goat. Nigerian dwarf goat. And miniature Nubian goat. So various goat species and sizes. They're hungry so they'll follow me. <laughs> oh gotcha. Everybody line up according to size. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> you guys wow, we got some big goats here too. Someone trying to get up high. So all the goats are following her to go get breakfast. All right, so she put down some hay for them. Now the La Mancha goats do not appear to have ears or ear flaps. They do actually have ears, it's just they don't have the protruding ear flaps like the other goats. Now this is their natural feature, they're born this way. The ear lobes are not cut off. This is a Jersey cow. And there are two donkeys here. Get this guy here and then the other one. And according to the lady here, they are brothers. Got some domestic turkey. Is there a domestic turkey? What's that, Toykies? These guys are going to be happy to be in zoos being when it comes Thanksgiving time. But they don't know about that, so I'm not going to say anything else. Gobble, gobble. Say gobble, gobble. Oh, we got some flamingos over here. And a couple mallard ducks in there with the other flamingo. Trying to find a sign to let me know which variety of flamingo this is. The bright pink, so it could be Chilean. Not 100% sure yet. We got some sheep. Kind of scared them, so they're a little sheepish. <laughs> Get some sheep. Get that. It's the habitat for North American porcupine, but I do not see the porcupine at the moment. So I will definitely check back a little bit later. We do have some Blanding's turtle. That's a turtle here in the water. And North American porcupine. Alright, so I'm evidently blind because I didn't even see him. Except here in the tree. It's too busy looking down, didn't you notice? up in a tree. Lady was pointing him out to her little girl. Said, yeah, it's North American porcupine. Now over in the farm area they do have a little playground for the kids to play on. Get a little better view of the turkey because the sun's not shining on this side. Alright, so you do have hand washing stations because I was paying the donkeys and the cow. I'm going to wash my hands. We've got old world monkeys. We've got black and white Columbus monkey. So the Columbus monkey have lots of space. Now I apologize for the reflections. That's the way the light is shining right now.
munching on something. Fennec Fox's habitat. Fennec Fox has been moved indoors because of the cold temperatures. So I will see a little guy later. There we go. See three of them now. Got the Okapi Conservation Center. You see them inside. Again, I apologize for the reflection. It's a good Heinz 57 type animal. Looks like a zebra, horse. It's actually related to the giraffe. Got Southern Ground Hornbill. We're having a conversation over here. I don't know what they're talking about. Another one down there looking through the straw for bugs, I'm guessing. Got a nice pumpkin in there for Halloween. Alright, African lion. This guy was roaring a little early. I always love seeing the big cats. Awesome lion. Got Diana monkey. The Diana monkey's habitat. He just went inside of his night habitat. So I will check back a little bit later. Alright, got other animals over here. All right, we got a West African Crown Crane. There is the Crown Crane. Greater Kudu. See the Greater Kudu. And we have some Adax. See an Adax here. Grant's zebra. I do not currently see the Grant's zebra, so again I will check back a little bit later. Got lots of fish in the water. So normally you're able to feed the fish with fish food from the dispenser. So you can see the fish coming up with their mouths open, expecting to be fed, but because of COVID, all the coin operated fish food dispensers are closed off. So guests are not able to feed the fish, but the zoo does still feed them, so the guys don't go hungry. All right, so these are American Flamingo. The flamingos have access to an indoor building. As you can see a couple of them in here. Some on the other side of the flamingo habitat. So we found out these are American flamingo. All right, so I did find a actual stationary full color map. I am still over in the Africa area. Right near Flamingos. We saw a peacock here on the path. This is a male peacock. You can tell by his bright coloration. There we got some painted dog. Scratch himself. Here we go. Love seeing these guys. They're so full of color. Oh no, 
over. It is also known as the African wild dog. In case you're wondering what the noise is, a little fountain with the water. <laughs> Better view of the edX. Alright, right across from the petting zoo, they got Congo Cafe. All right, so I was showing you the menu board. I just purchased a large souvenir cup, which is $5.99. See my refillable cup I got. But because of guidelines for COVID, they are not doing refills. So I'll just have to purchase a $3 cup to refill it. Looks like the chimps got a new habitat, so they were moved. All right, so the old habitat for the chimps will be reconditioned for a new species of animal. We got some warthog. One of them munching away. We got more than one warthog. You can see a train passing behind us. Or is a train passing you see behind the warthog's habitat. So that would be the noise that you would hear. All right, trumpeter hornbill. Came hopping over to see me. Hi, birdie. How you doing? How are you? I know I'm not really expecting to talk back to me. Another habitat that's getting changed around. This is formerly the kudu and ostrich's habitat. So it's good to see the zoo making some changes and updates. All right, so we're gonna go through here to see the kangaroo. All right, laughing kookaburro. It's one of my favorite bird species. It's because they are so cool to look at. Now we're gonna see some red kangaroo and great gray kangaroo. See the kangaroos hopping around. So I currently cannot walk further into the area. That's all right, you can see a good view of the kangaroos. So you can see the kangaroos have nice ample space to hippity hop around. So I'm not sure about the difference between kangaroos and wallabies. There are some workers in the actual habitat area where the trail is, which is the reason why it is closed off currently. All right, snow leopard. This is snow leopards area and I see the snow leopard wow beautiful cat along its tail is and the emmer leopard we got a view of this guy from the front entrance area see your emmer leopard's habitat See a bunch of new wood, so they've been doing some renovating. Now, when an animal paces back and forth, it's usually either a sign of stress or just plain boredom. Information about their mer leopards conservation. They're critically endangered in the wild. I got a, a Potawatomi Zoo Express. So train tickets are two dollars. Alright, so I went and got my train ticket. Train is heading back. 
I'm gonna take a quick ride around. Train ticket was two dollars. Because it's not busy enough to warrant having an extra attendant here at the ticket office. You gotta purchase your train tickets up front. Let's get a nice view of the train pulling in. So the train has plexiglass in between the seats that will help with distancing guidelines. Express, I am Conductor Rich and I hope you enjoy our little journey all aboard. Alright, cool, there we go. Due to the weather today, the tortoises, both sides here, they're inside. Over on the far right are the two McCalls, Chip and Katie. Chip is the redhead. And over here on the left are the two red pandas, also known as the red fire fox. Justin at eight years old, Maya at six. Expansion. So on the right, we got a great roof to help conserve all energy. 
buying it down. Last but not least, but on the right is our red gal, Hump Name Betty. Hope you enjoy the remaining of your day. Please remain seated until the train comes to a complete stop. Blow the whistle once, you can depart on the left. All right, so I had the train all to myself, so the conductor was nice enough to go around with just me. So I do appreciate that. Thank you. All right, so we saw the emu from the train getting some food. It's the same habitat as the kangaroos are in. So as I showed you from the train, the zoo is working on their master plan which includes lots of new additions, updates to habitats. It's a good spot for the kangaroos also. All right, American bison. All right. Got an eastern screech owl. Got two of them here. We got a red-tailed hawk. That's the red-tailed hawk. See its habitat. There's also some turkey vulture around here. So the American bison has a good sized habitat. Turkey vultures should be in here with it somewhere. American bison just stood up. North American River Otter. Otter history. And all in the family. Now we're gonna go check out their underwater viewing pavilion. Alright, the otter's habitat is nice. Lots of water from the bin. Showed you a bit of this from the train. Area all cleared for new construction. Right, additional habitat area for the river otter. I don't see them at the moment. So I'll check back a little bit later. Ooh, and they're selling mini donuts. That sounds really good. She's a donuts to get available. I'm gonna be getting me some pumpkin spice because I do love pumpkin and it's the season. The gentleman at the mini donut shop told me that the signs have a hidden meaning. So if you see the outline of the animal, it's a giraffe. So the zoo is building a new giraffe exhibit. Just saw the otters. They were just out. <laughs> back to the back again. So you can see all three of the bison. Alright, capybara. This is the capybara's habitat. I do not currently see it. So it could be sleeping in the back. Got a barred owl. Oh yeah, look at that. I was showing you the map again. I'm right here by the bison. I'm going to continue working my way around. Alrighty, a bobcat. This is the bobcat's habitat. Alright, so it appears the bobcat is inside right now. It does have access to come and go as it pleases. So again, I'll check back a little bit later. It's the other side view of the bobcat's habitat. We got red fox. Red fox habitat. And I barely saw them. They are up here at the top. Got two of them up there. They are so adorable. They're such cute little animals. Hope it shows up. 
All right, from South America, we got a Chicoan pickery. These are just fuzzy pigs. Looks like we got a baby in there too. A couple piglets. Yeah, there we go. There we go. A little a little one running all over. Oh, cute fuzzy pig. All right, because this is a northern zoo, all animals that cannot handle the cold are moved off of exhibit. Got an American alligator. It's the American alligator's indoor area. Let me see one of the alligators right here. This is definitely a juvenile. Just got water to be in. Talked about the animal hospital from the train. All animals get their annual checkups and they are quarantined when they come to the zoo before they are released out into the zoo. That's to protect all the animals that are already on the premises. Any medical attention the animals need to get it right here on site. And it's the alligator's outside habitat. And there is Mr. Alligator right here. I see these guys all the time from my home state of Florida. But it's got to be a real treat for people in the northern states where alligators do not normally appear out in the wild. So once the temperature gets too cold for them, it will be moved to its indoor habitat. Alright, black-tailed prairie dog. Yeah, they're all outside now. You can see all the holes that they dig. It's cool to see some outside. Usually it's hit or miss with these guys. You can see a little chipmunk in here too. Very opportunistic. He does not actually belong in the habitat, but he is there because it's food. The water we went by on the train. See some more ducks. All right, ring-tailed lemurs. Here we go on their little island. Probably the most well-known of the lemur species. All right, so the capybara I just saw. It's in a different area of the habitat. And giant ant eater. All right, I just asked one of the staff members walking by about the giant ant eater, and she told me that they should be out, and lo and behold, they are out. They're here yelling the, in the shade, and there's two of them. One of them is called Corn Dog, and she didn't know the name of the other one. So animals have their choice to be out in the habitat or not. But I will still check back a little bit later to see if they're up roaming around, get a better look of them. We got some macaws. Got a green winged macaw. And a blue and gold macaw. Got an itch.
routinely chew on the wood keeps their beak from growing too large hi got the round barn winery distillery and brewery which is not open right now Plenty of place to sit Got Mexican spider monkey. See him right up here. That's the Mexican spider monkey. Now he's not by himself. This is the only one that I currently see. Now this looked new, so I'm wondering if. Eventually this is going to be a show stage. Not really sure what the idea of the benches are. To do some sort of show here. And we're to the last exhibit. Okay, Red Panda. Also known as Lesser Panda or Firefox. Let's see if you can find them. All right, so apparently the red panda is inside one of the little boxes. So I will check back. Hopefully get a chance to see him. That little chipmunk here getting some free food. All right, I just made my initial walkthrough of the zoo. Warmed up a little bit, so I did take my jacket off. So now I'm going to take this opportunity to go back around and see if I can see the animals that we didn't see the first time around or get a better view of the animals that I did see. I always recommend going back again, sometimes a third time if you're at a zoo and there's a particular animal you did not see the first time, go back a little bit later before you leave. You might have the opportunity to actually see the animal that you missed. I came back to get a better view of the rhino. He's laying down, but at least we get a front face view. Right next door, the copy is out. Very interesting looking animal. And this guy's name is Will. And he's the younger of the two brother copy that they have here. So the signage here about the copy gives you more information on them. What well, a southern groundhorn barrel living up to her name because they're on the ground now. All right, the Diana monkey is out now. Hmm. Grooming. Cute little critter. All right, so I came back to where the greater kudu are, where the grant zebra is supposed to be with, but I still do not see the grant zebra. So they're behind the scenes. This guy's getting a nice scratch on the tree. He's, that's nice. So he was scratching his horn. Yeah, scratching its horn. So I'm back to this sign where the chimps used to be and going by what the gentleman with the mini donut said looks like lion. So I guess the lion is going to be moving over here so it's to be renovated to accommodate the lion, so he's going to have a much better habitat than what he currently is in. Much better view of the both of the warthogs together. We saw this sign earlier. This means a giraffe will be taking over the former kudu and ostrich habitat as well. Definitely tell the changing of the seasons is 
in full effect. All the leaves falling off the trees. See them falling all over the place. Evident on the ground. See black swan. Got a black swan. This was not out earlier. Worker was here cleaning this pond up because it was really, really grimy looking. It looks fantastic now and it's filling up with water. And so I came back to the otters and I see one of them. All three were just out. And as soon as I walked up, they all scattered out to the back again. Alright, so the first habitat I was at earlier, where I didn't see the the capybara, is over here. And I believe that's a turkey vulture. That's with it. Trying to get you a better view of the vulture. I came back and Bobcat is out. Oops, sorry. Looks like he's going back in. Thank you for making an appearance, Bob. Alright, there's Bob. There is Bob. Let me make sure I saw him. I would have kept hearing in the comments, what about Bob? That's a stupid joke, but, you know. Oh, man, look at that. Got the cute little stubby tail and everything. Cute little stubby tail. And all the Chacoan and Pick area are all sleeping together. Got the little, the little ones right in the center. So because this is a northern state and it is autumn, getting into the cooler weather, the warm weather animals are off habitat and includes all of the tortoises. So while I'm not able to show you them, they are in their winterized accommodations basically, so they're not able to be viewed for right now. So I do apologize for that, but I 100% understand the safety of the animals is more important than me getting a chance to see them. This explains why certain animals off exhibit. Alright, so I came back to the ant eaters and they are still in the same spot. So I can't show them to you walking around. You guys have long bushy tails and long noses. Okay, Red Panda is still unavailable inside sleeping still. Cannot force them to come out. It is entirely up to them. Alright. Going to bill nice and close. Hi, I'm going to be scary. I'm sorry. I think I startled them. So I'm very happy to see that the lion is going to be getting a new habitat because this definitely is not suitable for such a magnificent animal. A right, much better view of the kookaburra. All right, one last look at the kangaroo. I got two black swan in the pond now. All right. Looks like they are very happy. Nice fresh water. All right. See, I came back a third time, and all the river otters are out. Got one playing in the water. Got the one here. 
Got one further back, laying in the grass. The one playing in the water. See, sometimes you gotta come back a third time, which is what this is. You guys are always fun to watch. So I came back a third time with the red fox. I'm talking real quiet so he doesn't run off again. Very cute. There we go. I don't want to scare him. There you go. There we are. Hi, baby. How you doing? So it always pays to come back. Dead. One of my favorite movies as a kid was The Fox and the Hound. Hi, sweetheart. You just gotta be real slow and quiet around some of the animals. That way you don't startle them. All right, red painters are finally out. I know, this is a twice time coming here. I guess my fourth. <laughs> Your fourth? Yeah, still never come out here. Yeah. All right. No, eating. So again, it pays to come back, sometimes multiple times. And there's the other one. I'm so happy I checked back right before leaving. You see the big fluffy tail now? All right, so I'm glad I came back right before leaving to see the red panda finally out. It's my fourth time coming back to that habitat. So as I said earlier, sometimes you need to come back again multiple times. I was able to do that and got a fantastic views of some of the animals that I did miss the first time around. And even the second time around, I was able to see some of them. Some of them took three and four times. But it's not a huge property, so I was able to make the loop around multiple times the only one that I did not get to actually see was the zebras. Other animals are off habitat for the season for their own safety. All right, so we're going to exit into the gift shop. It's a quaint little gift shop. Assorted little toys and knickknacks and plush. This is where I got my hat this morning. I also got lots of kid size hats. All those kid size articles of clothing. Got lots more plush. If you're here on a rainy day and you don't have an umbrella, well, they sell them here. You can have adult size shirts as well. Additional plush. Because the zoo was very popular with school groups, church groups, summer camps, they usually have little small cheaper items for the kids to purchase. Some other assorted items. All right, that was my visit to the Padawatami Zoo. I had a fantastic time. Very clean facilities. They are doing lots of upkeep, maintenance, renovations, changing up some of the animal habitats to better accommodate the animals. They did have chimps, but they were moved out to another facility that had a bigger social group for the animals which enrich the animals lives so in doing so that's going to enable them to move the lion to a better accommodations than it's currently in they have giraffe coming in the future so this is a very nice facility i had a fantastic time give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw 
leave me some comments down below what questions, concerns, suggestions, anything like that. I love hearing from people. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. I'm always looking to expand. I upload new videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So thanks you much for watching. I appreciate everybody who does. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.